types of anti-estrogen therapy for breast cancer. Your breast cancer diagnosis probably raised a long list of questions. How big is the tumor? Is it aggressive? What do I do now? One major factor that determines your treatment path is the hormone status of your cancer. Around 80% of breast cancer patients are estrogen receptor positive or ER positive. This means that your cancer is fueled by estrogen. For these cancers, estrogen encourages cancer cells to grow and spread. Anti-estrogen therapy, also called endocrine therapy, either prevents the production of estrogen or blocks estrogen from acting on your breast cancer cells. It's designed to reach cancer cells anywhere in your body and is typically taken for five to 10 years after surgery. But the type of therapy you go through depends on the stage of your cancer, whether you've experienced menopause and or other health considerations. So we're gonna break down the major types of anti-estrogen therapy. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed a breast cancer index, a test that may help women with ER positive, early stage breast cancer decide with their doctors whether to extend or end anti-estrogen therapy after five years. Let's get started with tamoxifen and turamifene. Tamoxifen is mainly prescribed to premenopausal women with early stage breast cancer, but instead of stopping estrogen production, tamoxifen limits the ability of estrogen to act on your tumor. For women with ER positive breast cancer treated with surgery, tamoxifen can help lower the chances of recurrence and raise the chances of living longer. Teremaphine, which has similar properties as tamoxifen, is only prescribed to women with metastatic breast cancer. The next major therapy is Fluvstrand, a drug that blocks the cancer's estrogen receptors and also eliminates estrogen receptors from the body temporarily. It's often used to treat metastatic breast cancer when other drugs have stopped working. However, it's only approved for postmenopausal women. But Fluvstrand can also result in osteoporosis if it's taken for a long time. Another type of anti-estrogen therapy is known as aromatase inhibitors, or AIs. Aromatase inhibitors are drugs that stop estrogen production in postmenopausal women. AIs differ from drugs like tamoxifen in that they suppress estrogen production in the body instead of only blocking estrogen from binding to the receptors of the cancer cells. AIs are not prescribed for premenopausal women whose ovaries are still producing estrogen. But for postmenopausal women, a small amount of estrogen is still made by an enzyme called aromatase, found in tissues like fat. AIs work by blocking aromatase, thereby stopping estrogen production. There are three AIs that are reported to work equally well in treating breast cancer. Letrozole Femara, Anastrozole Arimidex, Exemestane Aromacin. Taking these drugs either alone or after tamoxifen has been shown to work better than taking only tamoxifen in postmenopausal women. For most ER positive postmenopausal women with breast cancer, many doctors recommend taking an AI at some point during therapy. Schedules that are shown to be helpful include tamoxifen for two to three years, followed by an AI to complete five years of treatment, tamoxifen for five years, followed by an AI for five years, AI for five years, though new data with your physician may recommend a longer duration. If you had early stage breast cancer and were premenopausal, then your doctor might recommend taking tamoxifen first, followed by an AI if you go through menopause during treatment. The final way to deplete estrogen is known as ovarian suppression or depletion, which utilizes surgery, radiation, or drug therapy to prevent the ovaries from making estrogen. For premenopausal women, removing or shutting down the ovaries makes women undergo menopause. This not only limits estrogen, but may allow the use of AI. Ovarian ablation is most often done to treat metastatic breast cancer, but it also is considered in women with early stages of the disease. There are several ways to remove or shut down the ovaries. Oophorectomy, which is a surgical removal of your ovaries, and radiation ablation, which prevents the ovaries from making estrogen, are permanent forms of ovarian ablation. Next is luteinizing hormone-releasing hormone analogs, or LHRH for short. These drugs stop the signal that the body sends to the ovaries to make estrogen causing temporary menopause. Common LHRH drugs include Luprolide, Lupron, and Gazarillin, Zolidex. 
The last form of ovarian ablation is chemotherapy. Some chemo drugs can damage the ovaries so they no longer make estrogen. And while all the above methods include their own side effects, we suggest bringing any questions to your doctor. Many factors go into choosing the right anti-estrogen therapy, and your doctor is the best person to talk with about the issue. To get more practical tips for breast cancer patients, be sure to subscribe to Breast Cancer Answers here and leave your own questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer your questions in future videos. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond your five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.